Here's the operation of uh, kind of a Tesla alternator rig that I have set up connected to a small car battery. Uh, right now you can see the alternator is running, there's no load. Uh, I'm bypassing the voltage regulator. You can hear if I actually hook up the field coil straight to the, the battery terminal, you can hear it go under load. And I don't know if you can see the uh, amp meter uh, begin charging uh, the battery. I'll zoom in in just a moment to let you see that. Here's a close up of the ammeter charging the battery when the fill coil is energized. You should be able to hear the electric motor bog down as it uh, tries to power the alternator. This is the wiring at the back of the alternator. This is the battery terminal. This is the positive side of the fill coil. This is the negative side of the fill coil that would normally be connected to the regulator. But I'm bypassing the regulator. It seems to have some issue where it doesn't charge. Uh, so we're just bypassing that for now. And up here is the alternator ground. It's grounded through the casing. So that's kind of just a a wiring overview of how this particular alternator is currently set up. Normally the voltage regulator would regulate the uh, uh, ground connection to the field coil and that would uh, vary the voltage coming out of the alternator to match what uh, should be consumed by the battery. With the straight field coil now it's putting out about 20 volts with no load connected up to this battery which is kind of a, a bad battery. Uh, it puts out about 16 volts. Um, under that load charging.